Hello Virgo, this is Solomon. These are going to be your messages for the week of February the 13th to the 19th of 2017, okay? So until February the 18th, the sun will be in Aquarius, activating your sixth house of work, health, fitness, and service to others. And those who are not able to take care of themselves, you may be helping them out, okay? So you may find yourself very busy and use, useful around this time. So Venus and Mars will be in Aries until... I believe March the 3rd, 2017, and that's breaking out your eighth house of transformation, rebirth, sex, debt, taxes, legal matters, and joint resources, healing from the loss of others, and healing in relationships and interchanges going on around this time. So let's see what's going on with you Monday through uh, Sunday. And this is decent because as I'm shuffling, the cards have not uh, stopped, and that means I'll be able to do my weekly spread for you, all right? Monday through Sunday. For the week of February 13th and 19th, 2017. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Monday and Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday and Thursday. Then Friday, Sunday. Hmm. Okay. So. So here we have. Okay. So Monday and Tuesday, we do have the uh, the moon is going to be in Virgo. That's your own sign dealing with your first house of self, your likes, your dislikes, self improvement, you time, and self evaluating. So we have the. Uh, Temperance card is the major arcana in the upright position. You have the um, the hangman in reverse, and then the eight of pentacles in reverse. So there's uh, some patience needed on your end. I feel for a lot of you, if you are waiting for something, if you are dealing with someone that's around you who is always um, kind of wanting to start an argument, if you're in a work environment where you're not liking it too much, and you are. I'm having a problem with making it a decision on how to move forward, you know, leaving a job, leaving a relationship. And I feel like a lot of you are having some issues because of work matters. So maybe that's um, a lot and partly on your mind. You know, maybe you don't want to move forward and commit in a relationship because um, you're, you don't feel really good and secure financially. A lot of times this is not really liking the work that you do or applying yourself and not really giving energy to your relationship or you could be dealing with another person who is not willing to um, put more effort into a relationship or uh, the work and partnership that you are having. So there's some kind of um, maybe some conflict within you, some inner conflict that you are dealing with. But I do feel like uh, there's a need to kind of apply yourself and maybe focus on some things, try to regain your focus to be more ambitious and uh, grounded. Now you are an earth sign, so I don't need to be telling you that, but I do feel like there's some blockages here, maybe because of that uh, eighth house being activated as well, but your sixth house is being activated. So a lot of um, energy around health and work and the things that you do with your day to day activities. So that is uh, Monday and Tuesday, right? So Wednesday and Thursday, we do have the moon is going to be in a uh, Libra, and that's bringing out your second house of money and possessions which you own, which you like to acquire, your income and your financial prospects. So we do have the uh, high priestess here. We have the um, tower in reverse, and then we have the three of pentacles. So if you're in a job or you're in a relationship or something like that, maybe you are secretly uh, trying to find your way to uh, change yourself or look at different opportunities because some of you are contemplating a change but you have a fear about that change and i do feel like before you go along with that change there's some kind of thing that you need to work on and rebuild within yourself maybe you're um rebuilding with a certain uh, project that you're doing um it could be some new ideas that you have that you're trying to get off the ground and you may be keeping that a secret to yourself there could be some kind of freeway situation as well that you're dealing with where you're working 
uh, with your partner or maybe ex-partner or something like that before you actually make this complete change in a relationship. So something is going on where there's some kind of secrecy going on. I feel like a lot of you are maybe if you are applying your intuition or any kind of gifts that you have spiritually when it comes to a career. Okay, so you can use those talents and things that you have like that. So I do feel like something is new here, but there's going to you know, take some time in order for you to kind of detach from a certain situation and find some a new beginning. This is being resistant to a kind of letting go of something that's not really serving you. And it possibly has to do with money investments, your, your job or career, and maybe your partner is needing to rebuild and work on themselves as well before they actually commit in a relationship. All right, so there's some kind of secrecy um, going on here. All right. So for Saturday, Friday through Sunday, all right, we have the moon that's going to be in Scorpio, all right? Uh, Sunday is going to be in Sagittarius. So your third and fourth house is going to be activated. The third house is about communicating. Uh, is your third house of communication within your immediate environment, siblings, neighbors, visits from others, or friends and family, and random pop-ups. So you have the seven of cups in reverse. You have the uh, page of pentacles, and then you have the six of wands in reverse. So I do feel here that uh, a lot of you are possibly, you know, getting some money opportunities. You may get paid. You may get some um, a bonus, some uh, overtime um, being paid to you, so some work being done. But the Seven of Cups in reverse here, I do feel like reality may not be as you would like it to be. It may be some kind of confusion that's brought about. Maybe you feel like someone is not into you, and then you are kind of maybe looking for attention from someone else. You're um, not really feeling victorious you're not feeling confident in yourself so you may need that kind of um what would they call that um reassurance from your partner or from someone so you can kind of feel better about yourself but make sure that you're looking for that um that feel good energy and that love from within yourself rather than looking for it from uh, someone else so that's what the seven of cups is telling me about a lot of people look at this as making a decision because you have many different options you're looking at and then you kind of choose something i don't necessarily see that card in that way um it's from personal experience but i do feel like uh, there's a lot of confusion that's going to be going on around this time so uh, the universe has a way of blowing I mean, throwing many obstacles in our way so that we can kind of find ways to be creative and get around it so that we can face our own um fears our own anxieties and things like that because you know we may assume different things and i feel like that's a lesson that the universe wants you to uh, kind of get through is to kind of get over the fears of illusions to have more faith and that's when i feel that the card the seven upright you know this is a seven of cups but the seven is about assessment having faith kind of waiting and being patient and i feel here that there could be some confusion so a lot of you can be uh, focused on money instead of your relationship and i feel like uh, your energy is going to be all over the place i'm not really sure uh, where to focus that energy completely all right but i do feel like some money may be coming through the weekend and some money opportunities you know the ace of pentacles is about new beginnings new opportunities so it's up to you to kind of uh, go out and get it as well all right so let's see what the romance angels have for you uh for the week of february the 13th to the 19th to the august 17th romance angels past life relationship it says you have known each other before so you may have a contract with someone from a past life you may have a deep connection with someone that has you know has some rifts that has been going on for quite some time and that's why it's possibly hard for you to move on from a certain relationship or maybe very hard for you to get a newer one started because there are some lessons and maybe some unfinished business with a certain person we have to kind of heal some wounds and things like that so that's what i feel that the um this tower here is in reverse it's uh maybe the connection in in the fear of separation that you have with a certain person is so strong and maybe so intimidating that you are having some troubles with uh, kind of moving on or getting to know someone new this past life connection could be with a newer person as well it doesn't have to just be with someone from your past okay so this could speak to you in many different ways all right so i hope that you have a fantastic week uh, much love and much light
if you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be specific for you.